have you even sat down and th and thought through the numbers, the possibilities, and all that kind of stuff? Or are you just ignoring that and plowing forward? Well, I'm I'm I, I'm aware of what what's uh, what's out there. I mean, obviously, uh, Mike Davis and I are good friends, and we text all the time. And I texted him the other day and said, "Hey, doing a great job. I just can't root for you on Wednesday." <laughs> right. And he came back with, "I understand." So. Uh, I'm a big Southern Miss fan tomorrow, but you know more than anything else, I've always said this: uh, it, what really matters is uh, our own business, uh, and then whatever happens, happens. The things you can't control, I can't control that. But uh, you know, we got a tough opponent. Rice has always played us tough. Um, I think they've got good young players, and the Jackson kid, and the Kazimi kid, and then they've got four seniors that have a lot of experience on senior night, um, and they they've got confidence. They they beat Memphis here. They beat a. UCF team at, at UCF that we did not beat. Uh, so uh, first task at hand is certainly our own business, and then whatever happens, happens. What makes Kazimi so good? Talk about his game. Well, he has great feet. He has great feet, and he's got great hands. And what he can do is he can hold you off in the post, depending on which way you want to guard him, and then they really deliver the ball to him well. And he can release off of that post up. Uh, what we call ceiling in a post, he can release there, still have great feet, and finish per, finish very quickly. This has been a unique year for you. Have you ever had to manage a team down the stretch like a horse? And by that I mean you got to have that last quarter mile out of them, knowing that you've got another huge race starting next week. Well, it has, uh, mainly because of the injuries. I mean, uh, but what's crazy is it's been it's it's. it's it's been going on for two months you know it's just been different guys and so I think we've done a pretty decent job of managing it uh, I've said this all along I mean uh, boy uh, after the SMU game kids could have folded and they really kind of turned it on so uh, they're a resilient bunch doesn't mean we win every night but they're a real resilient bunch a respectful bunch a good bunch and uh, looking forward to playing tomorrow night and in the end doesn't it make you better I mean you get good minutes for Blondie you know Shane delivers yeah. everybody does something yeah, and I, I think I, I think I've gotten better. You know, I mean, I, I have to improve too uh, as a coach. But wonderful contribution from Shane the other day. He hadn't played really since mid-December. Then he then he dislocates his pinky, um, and then Blondie. You know, I've been on Blondie all year about teaching him how to defend and all that. And he's helped us in the Houston game and helped us the other night. So it's really the natural pro progress that you want from your players. And the other one I'd add to that, I think Tim Pete's playing his best basketball this season. So uh, as a coach, looking at two freshmen and then a senior who hadn't played, not given up, really contributing as his, as his, as his, as his career winds down, uh, I, I can't ask more from them. What are the big keys for tomorrow night? Well, uh, you know, it's certainly offensively just taking care of the basketball. It always is. And shooting the ball well. Um, but uh, defensively, you know, I'm a defensive guy. I mean, you gotta you got to do a good job on Kazemi. you got to do a good job on, on guarding him and boxing him out so he doesn't get a second shot. And then Tamir Jackson's playing really, really well. I mean, he's driving the ball, um, and he's really creating a lot of opportunities. Both kids shoot a lot of free throws, keeping them off the free throw line. And then not letting have uh, Connor Frizzell, a Corey Flieger, uh, a, a, a Stanton, uh, a, a Kuypers get, a, get open threes.